Hey guys, welcome to a, a news video for Global. And today, though, there's not much to talk about other than this event, really. And then there's me some other stuff, but uh, it's just a wave battle, just like we had, just like not that long ago. And I gotta say, uh, these items are not very good. Uh, hopefully, that water dragon weapon will be better, but I mean. Considering the last one was not very good, I'm not expecting much. And this is also bad. That's free equipment, so... There is something good, though. Uh, I think that... Equipping this full set is pretty good. Um, you're getting a lot of fire resist if you equip everything. The stats are not really that great, but... If you equip everything, you'll get some decent stats. And for a free-to-play player, Get all this stuff, it's not too bad. Uh, getting all this fire resist. And it's not like it's a him, like it's not like it's making you equip a weapon or anything, it's just accessories and clothing, so. Very nice. I like I like this set actually. Um, and then obviously the bonus for the wave battle. I'm not gonna call it elemental battle or whatever they're calling it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a wave battle that's just marketed differently now. And I'm sure we don't have to worry about any of these things that the Moogle says for the for the battle, honestly. It should be easy. Even for like newer players, it should, you should be able to beat most of these stages. So anyways, <laughs> this is the banner, and they included summer units for some reason instead of, you know, making something a little more interesting. Um, I'm sure most people have tons of these summertime Lucas and Tiger and Dracus by now. <laughs> Step up. Uh, it's not bad. But they're doing that four star thing lately to get you, your eyes glued to it to like, oh, it's something really interesting in there, but it's not really that great. And. I feel like this bait, this banner's a bait. I know, like, oh, everything, everything's a bait. But, like, that STMR, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is bait. This has got to be bait, guys. It's like, like, look at that STMR. That STMR, STMR is insane. Plus, it has evasion equipped to it. I don't, uh, the wording is a little weird. I don't know if that's, if that is evasion or that mirage. If that's a mirage, it's garbage. If that's evasion, that's really good. And 30% when in, in uh, water resist, but also having a 30% attack and evasion, that's really good. Emar is not that good. Uh, locked to water weapon and it's two handed, but it's a katana. 140, 140 attack though is going to be uh, punished by the damage formula change though. <laughs> and it's just probably just going to be another damage dealer, guys. It's just like. So many damage dealers, you don't, if you have Zeno, I'm sure you're fine. If you have Elena, I'm sure you're fine. You really don't need these guys. And another unit that's definitely STMR bait because the STMR has TDH equipment tied to it. So very, very good for TDH builds. Uh, I'd love to go for it, but if, if these units aren't limited time only, we're going to see if they're limited time only. No, they're not limited time, so I'm not really, probably not going to go for them, honestly, guys. Um, because I might just get them later. Because uh, STMR, this one, for Tsukiyo, oh, sorry, I, I don't know, I'm tired. can't pronounce that right. And it's, uh, TMR is okay, too. TMR is okay. The, when, you, when you guys, when you look at the, when you look at TMRs and they have abilities that do things like this, for example, the, the magic, it's probably going to be bad. It's probably going to be bad and it's not worth it. Maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe it'll have a chaining ability or something. I really doubt that, though. And for her kit, because I was really more interested in this kit than the other one, because that the other one's just a physical damage dealer, not really that interesting. And that's restore MP and HP, remove all debuffs, and escape from battle from a certain number. That's not very good, guys. Um, your healer can do most of those things. Sylvie can protect against most of those things, so... 
you're 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 basically healing yourself, but you're basically not being able to DPS. So I don't think that's very good, guys. <laughs> but I don't know. The killers is pretty interesting, uh, depending on what these abilities that I unlocked. But I'm sure they'll be strong since you have to un unlock them via by that cooldown ability. So. Of course, as always, I'll be reviewing both of these units when, they, when the data comes out on Thursday. I don't think anything's going to change. Guys, nothing has changed in months now. So I will still put a disclaimer when I talk my videos, when I do the review, that some things can change. But I really don't think anything's going to change at this point. I think everything's pretty solid now, other than that one hiccup. That's what most people are going to remember, right? One thing that one bad thing that happens is that people... That's what's when people are gonna remember for a long time is that one mess up. So we'll keep on the eye on that, guys. But step up is expensive, and getting coins is gonna be expensive, and the tickets are not reliable. But the the step up is okay, not great, but okay. Kaito looks like he's just gonna be another damage dealer with water. Basically, you're you're tied to using water element for him. That cooldown ability doesn't seem very good. The unpredicted whirlpool, not very good. Just gradual damage, so it's just DOT to random enemies. That's not very good. Sorry, but I mean, it, hopefully that I mean that torrential showdown has to be good, right? For it to be only available for one turn, I think that should be really good, right? And the other one, <laughs> I, I don't understand what the. This DOT damage is. DOT damage is not very good, guys. And even though it has like a huge modifier, usually they're only one hits. So if, unless this guy is what I talked about in my uh, review of the FFX2 units, where I talked about maybe having like a DOT that can chain. Maybe this one can. Uh, maybe, maybe they already one step ahead, and that maybe this is a chaining DOT. I really doubt that, though. I heavily doubt that. So, anyways, this is the last thing I want to talk about. And they finally addressed, I think this is the second time now. Well, the other time they didn't really address it, they just said that they were buffing that one daily thing. I remember to, I remember to do those guys, but... Um, yeah. So... Hopefully they'll be fixed, hopefully it'll be better, because... I don't like the system, it's actually burning me out of the global side right now. I'm really burned out from it because I just don't like the the EP system. I don't like the key system. I just wish it was just the way where you beat the boss and you get the buff. It's really simple. It doesn't have to be complicated, but they want it to be. So the other the other news is that the summer summer beach ladies banner is coming back. And I believe it's just the same banner and I don't think that's worth going for whatsoever at this point. It is still a really good breaker, but Silka, she's only going to only have one use for Blood Moon, pretty much, and that's going to be it. Blood Moon Reborn, anyways. And I haven't really used her much all on the global side, so uh, take that into caution. Don't. I would try to recommend not pulling on that banner. That's pretty much bait, honestly. So, anyways, guys, about all the news there is, I believe. Let me know what you guys think about the two new units. Let me know what you guys think about the event. Excited about that free free to play equipment? Please subscribe. Please like. Please tune in for more news videos, updates, reviews, full videos, and more. See you guys. Peace.